G'day folks, this afternoon I've sneakily snuck out to one of my old faithful spots to do a bit of angling and see if I can catch a carp or a redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now both of my rods are rigged up and baited up, I've just got to cast them out. I like to rig them up and get ready before I start filming so that I can walk you through what I'm doing. Both rods are rigged with a Pat Noster rig, with the uh, the, the signers, sinkers that were made for me by Matt Furling and his boys, and a couple of Jan Juck worms. I'll put that one over there. And this one I'll cast down this side a bit. Sort of, I reckon about there, out in the middle. I know that's the deepest part of the hole there. I've sounded this out with my deeper chirp plus fish finder in the past. So I sort of know the lay of the, the creek bed here quite well. It's about 60 to 70 centimetres along here. And it gets shallow over that side. And there was a few fish showed up on my sounder in front of the reeds over there. So I've got one rod over there where the fish showed up on my fish finder last time I sounded it out. And one down here on the edge of the deep water. Down there, oh, that's a big shallow flat down there. Sort of the water slows down and, and spreads out. Anyway, both rods are in with worms. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Yeah, both lines are in. It's time to let the relaxation begin. Ha! Hopefully it's not too relaxing. I want to catch some fish. I want to catch a big fat carp because I bought myself a new landing net on the way out here today. Check this out. That's a Silstar landing net. It folds up to compact so it goes in the back seat of the car or whatever you want to put it. In a cupboard. You extend the handle so it, uh, it's got quite a bit of reach so you can reach down and scoop up carp, fish, anything. And it's got a removable handle so you can whack carp on the head. Or anyone that annoys you. But anyway, <laughs> but seriously, that's my new landing net. It's a Silstar. It's quite big and bulky. Should be ideal for landing carp. Hopefully I can catch a carp and test it out. I just happened to look up and see the line move a little bit on this rod here. Getting a bite. It's taken me a long time, but I'm getting a bite. Oh, how did I miss that? I just had a nibble. There he goes. Something's nibbling at it. Similar bite to the one I had before. Can I catch it this time? Got him! Yes! It's game on! It's a big old mud marlin. Oh yes! Oh, it was a huge carp! Got a tangled line here, haven't we? And now we're in business. Right. Look at the size of this carp. I am going to be testing my net. This is a very big fish. Can you pass me that net, Pratty? I've got my mate Pratty with me. He just uh, messaged him before and invited him out. He's come out for a chat and it's been good. It's made the two hours of no bites go really easy. Right, eh? Christening in the new net. Christening the new net now. There we go, folks. Oh, look at the size of that old mud marlin. I'll go and get a measurement for you. Right now, the only tape measure I've got is my uh, silver perch one, which I've had to cut at 75 centimeters, but it's not that big. My guess is 66. 66 is my guess, and the reality is that of uh, the eyeometer is miles out at 60. Uh, six, that's that one. The one between 60 and the one between 61. So I don't know, I don't know, maybe that's 60 and a half. I'm gonna call uh, one, two, oh, no, that's the one on the right. So the one, hang on, you get the point. 60 centimeter carp. And is uh, the when I took it out of the water, the creek dropped six inches. That's how big it is. All right, mate. Thanks for coming along. It's time to put your lights out. Something else I want to test is the handle of my new lantern net. Right, folks, I've christened my landing net in more ways than one, but it's got a bit of a bend in the end now, so I don't think it's going to double up as a uh, as a fish knocker. I was smart enough to use that bit and not that bit, though, so it goes together really well. All right, folks, I've uh, christened the landing net, and I'm happy. I've got a couple of fresh Janjark worms on. I'm going to put it straight back in the same spot. Took two hours to catch that fish. Wow, they've been slow, but that's to be expected this time of the year. 
I'm just sitting here fishing and my mate Praddy decided to come and join me, it was great. But then totally out of the blue he decided to start throwing Stephen King books at me. I've got no idea why, why he was doing that, but uh, then it hit me. Do you get it? Yeah. It? <laughs> well, yeah. Getting a nibble. I was looking at camera batteries and Praddy saw the bite and he alerted me to it. Still there, still there. Got him. Tell me, is it a little red fin, is it, or is it a little carp? It's a little red, it's a little red fin. There you go, folks. I came here chasing the in, in my introduction. I said I'm fishing for carp and red fin, and guess what I've caught? Carp and red fin. Oh, he's hooked a bit deep and he's got a little bit of blood. I'll break the line and I'll throw him back and I wish him all the best. And I reckon he'll be fine. One carp, one red fin, one happy fisherman. You beauty. Thanks for the heads up, Pratty. No worries. <laughs> People are going to think that was me and that I haven't got a friend. <laughs> Righto, bait it up with a couple of Janjak worms ready to go back in. Now I've come up with a little poem. These worms, they're from Janjak. They don't suck. They bring me lots of luck when the fish are running amok. How's that, Pratty? Is that alright? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was standing there with a real blank look on my face and you said, what are you doing? I was just, it took me a long time to think of that. <laughs> that cast. Well, I've got my lines back in. If I've got any advice for you younger people, and I've given this advice a lot of times on this channel, that is look after your back. Because at the moment, my back is absolutely stuffed. I've complained in the past about my bad back on this channel. It's like... How long have you had a week back? Oh, since about a week back. <laughs> Over the years, I've mentioned it several times, I've, years of factory work led me to have what's called a protruding disc or a bulging disc in my lower back. And in the last 15 or 20 years, I've done that same disc four times now. Up until a few days ago, it was three times, but now I've done it again. I'm, a, uh, I'm medicated, I'm in pain, and I know it will slowly get better, but for the rest of my life, I've got to nurture that part of my back. So. You young people out there, look after your back. If I teach you one thing in life, let me teach you to look after your back. Because it's horrible having a bad back. Right back at, right back at me. <laughs> Got him. I'm on. I've hooked up. Hey! That's a, that's a mud marlin, but not as big as that first big behemoth. Right, I've got to make sure I'm filming here. I think I may have missed the hook up on this one, but that's okay. Where's my net? Alright, give the net a second swim. There we go. Carp number two. Beauty. I'll go and get a picky. There we go folks, two carp and one redfin, it's 20 past three, so I've been in nearly three and a half hours. It's been slow, but I'm getting a couple and I'm having a blast. And what a magnificent day it is to be fishing. Right, oh folks, I'm not ready to go home, I'm having too much fun relaxing and catching fish. So I've chucked a couple more worms on, and I'm putting my line back out. See if I can catch fish number four. The current rate of bites is approximately one bite per hour. So just ticking over slowly. Here we go, just had a bite. Just a little nibble on this rod. Where it goes. I've got my hand around my rod here, ready to strike. It's very much not a carp bite. Don't give it a decent bite. Something playing with your bait here, but just won't give it a decent bite. Got him! I 
was just reeling my other line in, a bit of a predicament here. I've got a big fish on the right rod, another left rod just there. I was just reeling it in to check the bait, and the uh, right rod finally got a good bite. Jesus, I'm waiting this fish. What was the other one? 60 or 61 or something. I wonder if this one's bigger or the same. Right now, I've still got the fish. My battery went flat, so I've just changed batteries. Yes, he's still on there. <laughs> my battery went flat, so I changed my GoPro my GoPro battery halfway through fighting the fish. <laughs> I sort of half expected that when I put the, the uh, new battery in and turned it on, that the fish would be gone, but he hasn't. He's still there. I just gave it slack and uh, let it swim around a bit. <laughs> That's a first. I don't think he's as big as the first one, he's just got a bit more go. The first one seemed a bit lethargic. That's funny. What a sinking feeling, halfway through fighting a fish in here, beep, battery flat. Lucky I've changed GoPro batteries once or twice and I'm quite quick at it. All right. Yeah, this isn't as big as the first one. I think it's quite a bit shorter. It's just got a lot of go in it. The other one didn't have half as much energy. This one's got a fully charged battery. All right, come on, come on, come on, in, into the net. Ah, there we go. You beauty. The other one was 60. I reckon this one's probably about 59. <laughs> Let's go and get a quick pick. Right, first of all, let's get a measurement. I reckon he's got to be around, he's got to be close to 60 as well, I reckon, similar to the other one. No bit under, 58. 57. 57 centimetres. There you go, folks. 59 centimetre European carp. Quite a bit of orange in him. I haven't been uh, carp fishing for quite some time and I'm just having an absolute blast. I've caught three carp and a redfin and it's taken me four and a half hours to do it. The fishing's been pretty slow, but it's been very, very relaxing. So relaxing that I drifted off into another world. I was just sitting there. I've never been so relaxed. I don't know whether it was the sun on my back or the endone that I took for my back. <laughs> anyway, folks, I've had a fantastic afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, why not give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. And remember, look after your backs.